Hey, welcome to Bite Me, a truthful groomer podcast. I'm Brooke. This is the only podcast where we dismantle the dogma that the patriarchy taught us and confront uncomfortable truths for a better tomorrow. So last episode, we talked about feminism uh, and and what it means to be a feminist in 2020 and what that means going forward. And when we talked about feminism, the struggle that we face in 2020, one of the things that we talked about as to why other women can't seem to get on board with equal rights is the internalized misogyny that they face as a, as a woman that has grown up gaslit by the teachings of the patriarchy. So typically when the patriarchy comes into play and these typical and, and more often than not white males are uh, they're indoctrinating these women and how they do it is from a very young age they incorporate the bible so today we're going to talk about religion and how that plays into our treatment as a whole in today's female society and society in general the bible was written like it's been rewritten so many times that at this point it's not even about the bible anymore it's just about the people preaching it so you've got this book you've got these people who believe in this book why do people believe in a book like this it's written thousands thousands of years ago we don't have any proof there's nothing tangible that we can see before our eyes to believe it the reason that women continue to reference this great big book is because most women are good natured by heart They're good natured uh, underneath it all. They want to believe that there's some big power. And it also comes down to they want to believe that after we die, there is a greater they want to they want to make logic of things. You know, I was going through a great deal of grief at one point in my life, and I was really trying to explain it all myself. I asked my brother, I was like, why, 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 why? And he was like, you're trying to make sense out of nonsense. Some things you can't explain. Sometimes bad things just happen, and that's the way it is. Most of the time, bad things just happen, and that's the way it is. That's life. That's the human experience. But some people can't handle that concept. Some people want to believe that there's a higher power so that they can justify things that have happened to them. Because what's the alternative, right? Some people don't want to accept that nonsense is just nonsense because that would then mean that we're all for naught and there's no purpose. But being a human is having no purpose. The purpose is to be a human. My partner says it best easy. He says, you know, some people are leaders and some people are followers. Some people really need somebody to follow. They really need that direction. And I can hold that. I think that we can hold that concept as true because for me, I'm a natural born leader. I don't know anything else. But I've known people who don't know how to give themselves that kind of direction, who weren't born with that type of personality. And that's valid. You know, we're all born as we are. So I can see why some people would be searching, but I think where the differentiation comes into play between the Bible and searching is that people don't know where they end and the Bible begins. And they also don't know, they don't search deep enough within themselves because they haven't been given permission to do that from a young age. That's the boomer generation, honestly. That's them saying, no, put your own needs and desires aside and look at what other people are wanting. And so that's why you see the, they're, they're brainwashed really and truly from a young age. And that's why you see these young people. And Amish culture is actually a really good example of that. These people are brainwashed from a young age. And then they have, I think it's called rum, rum spa. And that's where the teenagers can go and do what they want to do and get all the wild out of them. It's a, it's a cultural thing for the Amish people. You will see there's some teenagers who don't go back because they get to go see the world and they're like, oh my gosh, everything I know and believe is a lie, you know? And then there's the ones that do go back and they're like, no, this is my home. This is my place. I don't know anywhere else. So when we talk about religion in today's society, really and truly what we're talking about is a cult. Religion is a cult. You can be spiritual without being religious. You can have a base within yourself for you know, a higher power. Me personally, I follow Ashnabe and he's a spiritual teacher on TikTok and he teaches the ways of the Native American people. He talks about the seventh fire and the next movement and how we're all connected to the universe. I choose to put my faith in him 
because that is what makes the most sense to me is that spiritual teaching that we come from the earth. That is something tangible I can believe in that I can feel. But some people don't connect that way. For some people, the only thing they connect with is this book. And what is this book about? It's about control. And if we don't have control, then what is the world? Well, it's chaos. And to live in a chaotic world, you see how inside of these people, they sort of have like this mental breakdown of like, but that would mean it's all for nothing. <laughs> and yes, the human race is kind of all for nothing. Like we are here to have an experience and then transition into another experience. But that's, that's for your own belief system. I know some of my followers are religious. I don't want to step on any toes here in regards to the progressive religious people, like have your faith, have what you believe in, whatever you choose to identify with, that's great. But I think when we get into people like Joel Osteen and Tim, Tammy Faye and Jim Baker, you know, you see these people or that guy on TikTok with the COVID where it's like, whoo, and then the wig falls off. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? That guy, like that is power for money. That is control for manipulation. That's where it gets hairy. And that is what the government tried to use during the Trump administration to control people. It's a very dangerous line because if we're talking about people who have to have this concept of the Bible and religion in order to get by in their life without having a mental breakdown of knowing that the world is all for naught, then those people, you, as you can imagine, to hold on to that belief system will try very hard to control other people so that they can still have that. You know, there's some people who really can't live without that kind of control. They, and, that's, and it's probably because something has happened to them in their lifetime where they didn't have control and now they're trying to get it back. And they're trying to, you know, so it's unfortunate that these people continue to follow these other people blindly without really questioning it. But that's why we're here, isn't it? That's the point of podcasts like mine. Question everyone. Trust no one. Even, even question and don't trust me. You always should. You have to form your own belief system. You have to do some real critical thinking. Otherwise, you're just a zombie. Otherwise, you're just a cog in the machine. Like, we get so much filtered into us on a daily basis from social media. You have to think about the information that you're internalizing and that you're putting out there. I'm faced with that every day on TikTok. I have to real some of my posts, I, I think to myself, am I influencing something here? And what am I influencing? And is it for the right cause? And is it for a cause I believe in? More often than not, I find that the answer is yet, but yes, but it's easy to get caught up. So that's it in a nutshell, why religion continues to prevail, primarily, um, with these white women in the United States government. Um, and then that's why you see typically white males in power. Like it would be easy to look at the United States government and see all these Catholic and Christian politicians and say to ourselves, oh, well, one's Catholic, one's Christian. That's not, you can't say religion is a part of it. How many Muslim people do you see in politics? Okay. How many, you know, I'm trying to think of other, other forms of religion, you know, how, how many religions outside of white Christianity and white Catholicism do you really see in politics? You don't, you know, that comes from that internalized fear that Catholicism and Christianity has placed into us. And then by proxy, you know, and proximity, you know, you see less women as well. So how many Buddhists do you see? So really and truly, uh, Christianity and Catholicism and American religion is playing a part in American politics, and we need to start talking about those issues. Um, as always, I want to thank you for coming to my podcast. This is brand new. Uh, you can go check out the website. This episode will be there along with some um, blog references to patriarchy, feminism, things of that nature. We're still getting started. There's a merch store there and you can join my Patreon where we discuss issues like this in a private group, share our stories and talk about the differences we can make as well as some truthful humor life hacks to help you out financially. Uh, I know that, you know, as things go on, that will be part of the next episode eating the richest time goes on. Uh, we're starting to become poorer and poorer and poorer. So in the truth for truthful groomer life hacks, uh, 
that helps pay for the subscription in and of itself of what you save. But I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just saying it's there if you want it. Um, other than that, there is a discussion forum on the web page. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear what you think we should discuss here. I'd love you to think what you think the next episode should be and just your thoughts in general. Uh, I appreciate you guys' viewership and I'll see you next time.